Did you know that we have a health facility named after Mother Angela? Mother Angela Huruma Hospital began in 2002 as a hospice that specialized in taking care of palliative care illnesses and patients. Over time, the facility grew and on 31st May 2003, it was registered as a health center, then called John Paul II Huruma Health Center. Similarly, the hospital grew and expanded the services and on March 2021, it was registered as a level 4B facility under the name Mother Angela Huruma Hospital. Our vision is to be a choice facility renowned for quality Christian and human patient care. Our mission is to provide comprehensive and compassionate health care in promotion of human dignity. Our core values are respect, honesty, boundless love, teamwork, professionalism, and dedicated service. Mother Angela Huruma Hospital offers the following services. We have an inpatient department where we have a bed capacity of 80, where we have male, female, and pediatric wards. We have maternity services where we conduct both normal and deliveries via cesarean section. We have theater where we conduct both major and minor operations. We have outpatient care services where we kama vile Yesu alivyokufa na kufufuka vivyo hivyo na hao waliolala katika Kristu Mungu atawaleta pamoja naye kama wote hufa katika Adamu vile vile wote watapata tena uzima katika Kristu Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Bwana awe nanyi Leo tunasherehekea kubukubu ya waamini marehemu wote na basi tunaajibika kila mmoja wetu kuweza kuwaombea wale ambao wametutagulia wale wote ambao wamekufa katika Kristu wale wote ambao wamekufa kwa neema na rehema zake Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kuwapa pumziko la amani na uzima wa milele ndugu zangu tujute dhambi zetu ili tuweze kustahilishwa kuadhimisha mafumbo matakatifu Na mungamia mungu mwenyezi na njidugu zangu kwani nimekosa mno kwa mawazo, kwa maneno, kwa matedo na kwa tutimiza wajibu. Nimekosa mimi, nimekosa mimi, nimekosa sana. Niyo maana na kuomba maria mwenye heri, mikla daima, malaika na watakatifu wote na njidugu zangu, niyo beni kwa bwana mungu wetu. Mungu Mwenyezi aturumie atusamehe dhambi zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele. Amina. Bwana uturumie. Bwana uturumie. Kristo uturumie. Kristo uturumie. Bwana uturumie. Bwana uturumie. Tuombe. E Bwana tunakuomba usikilize kwa wema sala zetu ili kama vile imani yetu katika mwanao mfufuka kutoka wafu inavyoimarishwa. Vivyo hivyo tu tumaini letu la kutazamia ufufuko wa watumishi wako lidhibitishwe kwa jia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele somo la kwanza somo katika kitabu cha ayubu ayubu alijibu akisema ningetaka maneno yangu yaandikwe ningetaka yachorwe katika gombo yachongwe milele katika mwamba kwa patasi ya chuma na kwa risasi mimi najua kwamba 
mokozi wangu yu hai na kwamba atasimama juu ya mavumbi yeye wa mwisho nami nitavikwa ngozi yangu nitasimama wima na katika mwili wangu nitamuona Mungu nami nitamuona mimi mwenyewe wala si mwingine neno la Bwana Zaburi ya kuitikizana Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa na kitu Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu sitapungu kiwa na kitu Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu sitapungu kiwa na kitu Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa na kitu hunipumzisha katika malisho mabichi hunipeleka kwenye maji matulivu hunipatia nguvu huniongoza katika njia zilizo sawa kwa ajili ya jina lake bwana ndiye sitapungu kiwa na kitu hata nijapopita katika bonde la giza siogopi mabaya kwani wewe upo pamoja nami gongo lako na fimbo yako vianituliza bwana ndiye sitapungu wanda meza mbele yangu machoni pa adui zangu umenipaka mafuta kichwani kikombe changu kinafurika bwana ndiye sitapungu wema kweli wema na fadhili zitanifuata siku zote za maisha yangu nitakaa nyumbani mwa Bwana kwa miaka mingi ijayo Bwana ndiye Somo la pili Somo katika barua ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa Warumi Ndugu matumaini hayadanganyi kwa maana upendo wa Mungu umeenezwa mioyoni mwetu na Roho Mtakatifu tuliyempokea Kristu alikufa kwa ajili yetu wakati tulipokuwa bado dhaifu na mbali na Mungu Kweli ni vigumu mtu kufa kwa ajili ya mwadilifu. Labda yu tayari kutoa maisha yake kwa ajili ya mtu mwema. Hivyo Mungu amedhibitisha mapendo yake atupendaye sisi kwa kufa kwake Kristu kwa ajili yetu tulipokuwa bado wakosefu. Lakini sasa bado baada ya kufanywa wadilifu kwa damu yake tutazidi kuokolewa naye na hukumu ya Mungu. Basi, sisi tulipatanishwa na Mungu kwa kifo cha mwanawe tulipokuwa bado adui zake, tutazidi bado baada ya kupatanishwa naye kusalimishwa kwa uzima wake. Zaidi ya hayo, twajisifia Mungu kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu aliyekuisha kutupatia upatanisho. Neno la Bwana shangilio la injili Aleluya 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 Na kutukuza baba Bwana wa mbingu na dunia 
kwa kuwa umewafunulia watoto wadogo mafumbo ya ufalme. Haleluya. Bwana awe nanyi. Somo la ijiri takatifu ilivyoadikwa na madhayo. Wakati yule alipowaona makudi ya watu, Yesu alipada juu ya mlima. Akaketi na wafuasi wake wakamjia. Naye akafubua kinywa chake, akawafudisha akisema Heli walio maskini wa roho maana ufalme wa mbinguni ni wao Heli walio na huzuni maana hao watatulizwa Heli walio wa pole maana hao watairidhi nchi Heli walio na jana na kiu ya uadirifu maana hao watashibishwa Heli walio na huruma maana hao watapata huruma Heri wario na moyo safi maana hao watamuona Mungu heri wapatanishi maana wataitwa wana wa Mungu heri wanaodhurumiwa kwa ajili ya haki maana ufalme wa mbinguni ni wao heri ninyi watu wakiwatukana na kuwadhurumu na kuwasigizia vibaya kwa uongo kwa ajili yangu furahini shangirieni kwa kuwa thawabu yenu ni kubwa mbinguni. Ijili ya Bwana. Leo mama kanisa ametupa nafasi ili tuweze kuwaombea ndugu zetu marehemu na vile vile uwe ni wakati wetu vile vile wa kuweza kutafakari kuhusu maisha yetu tunaposafiri hapa duniani. Na leo tunapoangalia masomo yetu kwa kweli yanatualika ili tuweze kwanza kabisa kuwaombea ndugu zetu na tena tuweze kutazama kwa udani maisha yetu tunavyoyaishi katika ulimwengu huu kwanza kabisa sherehe ya leo yatukumbusha kwamba sisi wote ni wasafiri ya kwamba sisi wote wakati wetu hapa duniani una mwisho tuna wengi sana tunaowafahamu ambao waliishi nasi na sanya kati hizi tunawaona wengi sana ndugu zetu marafiki zetu wakitutangulia ukitazama kwa mfano kuanzia mwaka jana Pengine tulipokuwa tunasherehekea sherehe ya leo kuna wengi sana ambao tunawafahamu ambao hatuko nao asubuhi ya leo ama siku ya leo. Hiyo ni ishara kwamba sisi wote ni wapitaji. Ya kwamba hakuna hata mmoja wetu anaweza kusimama na kusema kwamba ataishi katika ulimwengu huu milele. Lakini swala ni je hata baada ya kuishi katika ulimwengu huu ni yapi ambao tunaweza kusema kwamba toyatilia mkazo katika maisha yetu na tuipa na tuipa kipao mbele katika maisha yetu hapa duniani katika somo la kwanza tuwaona ayubu anatazama maisha yake mwenyewe na anasema kwamba Anaomba kwamba kama yale mambo ambayo yameyatenda na maisha yake yagecholwa ili wale wote ambao watakaokuja baada yake waweze kuyasoma na kuiga mfano wake. Na jambo la pili twaona yeye anaamini kwamba ameishi kwa jia ya uadilifu na ndipo anajua kutoka kwake katika ulimwengu huu Atapatana na yule ambaye alimuumba na kumpa nafasi ya kuishi katika ulimwengu huu na hata muona kama mgeni bali atamuona kama rafiki wake wa karibu. Na ndipo hata sisi tuweza kujiuliza kama wakristo wapenzi. 
Maisha yetu napoyaishi hapa duniani ni yapi hayo ambayo hata baada ya kuondoka kwetu katika ulimwengu huu yataweza kukubukwa na wengi ambao watayaenzi kwa sababu tumeyaishi kwa njia ya uadilifu au kwa ukamilifu mana kwa mana watu hukubukwa kwa sababu ya utajiri wa kidunia mana kwa mana kwa sababu mambo yaliyowafanya kwa dunia hii yalionekana kwa yale ambao waliacha lakini ni wangapi ambao tunaweza kusema kwamba tunawakubuka kwa sababu maisha waliyoyaishi ni maisha ambayo yalileta mabadiliko kwa watu wengi ni wapi tunaweza kusema kwamba wengi wao tunawaenzi kwa sababu waliishi maisha ya uadilifu hapo jana tuliwakubuka wengi sana ambao tuliwaona kwa kuishi katika ulimwengu huu waliacha yale ambao tuyatazama na kuyaona siku ya leo na tuwapenda kuyaiga kwa sababu waliishi kwa njia kamilifu na uadilifu hata sisi kama wakristo watunabudi sisi kama watumishi na wafuasi wake Yesu Kristo twapaswa kuyaacha hayo ambayo yataweza kuongeza maisha ya udani na kamilifu kwa wale ambao tunawaacha na wale watakuja baada yetu even we say start something or leave something that is going to outlive you to not die with you leave that legacy ambao watu wataiona na kusema kwamba twamfahamu huyu na kwa kweli aliishi kwa njia ya uadilifu na ukiishi kwa njia hiyo basi hakuna uoga wa kuondoka katika ulimwengu huu kwa sababu kifo tutafahamu sio mwisho lakini ni njia ya kwenda kupatana na yule ambao tuliiga mfano wake katika ulimwengu huu na kwa nguvu zake tuliweza kuishi kwa njia ya uadilifu basi kuondoka kwetu ni Kristo kuondoka kwetu ni kuweza kuishi pamoja naye Mwenyezi Mungu katika uzima wa milele na kama vile hata Paulo wanasema kwamba hicho kifo tutakiona hata kama rafiki wa karibu na hakutakuwa na woga kwa sababu kama vile Kristo alivyokufa na kwa ajili ya kifo cha Kristo tumepata uzima basi katika ufufuko wake hata nasi tutaweza kupata uzima na huo uzima hautakuwa na mwisho basi kifo kitatuwezesha tu kuwa malaika ambaye atatuwezesha kuwa pamoja na Kristo kuwa pamoja naye Mwenyezi Mungu lakini Kristo tena anatuuliza tutawezaje kuishi hayo maisha ya uadilifu na vile vile tulisikia hayo jana na tumepewa nafasi ya kuyarudia asubuhi ya leo Kristo anatupa mafundisho makuu mafundisho ambayo anayatuambia kwamba kwa yeyote anayetaka kuwa pamoja naye na kuwa na heri ya milele furaha ambayo haina mwisho hana budi ila kufuata njia yake mafundisho yake nyayo zake na hao ndio anasema mwenye heri ni yule ambayo ni maskini wa roho ameiweka roho yake kwake Mwenyezi Mungu hana kilicho chake nguvu zake ni kutoka kwa Mungu heri yule mtu anayehuzunika kwa mambo ambayo hayaendelei vyema mambo ya uovu anahuzunika anayaacha akaweza kuishi kwa njia kamilifu njia ya uadilifu heli yule mtu ambaye ni mpole kwa wale wengine ametambua wa Kristo wapenzi amewatabua wale ambao wanaishi naye dugu zake amewatabua wote ni wana wa Mungu na basi kuwaheshimu na kuweza kuishi kwa upole akijua kwamba yote aliyo nayo yeye mwenyewe yote yametoka kwa Mungu na pasipo Mwenyezi Mungu hata yeye hawezi hayo ameyatabua na kuwa mpole huyu tena ni yule mtu ambaye anajaa na kiu cha mambo ya uadilifu yale ambayo anatafuta kila siku sio yale ambayo ni ya mwili tu ya kuleta raha kwa mwili na haiongezi raha kwa roho yeye anatafuta yale ya uadilifu kwa sababu yanaleta ukamilifu kwa mwili na kwa roho huyu ni yule tena ni mwenye huruma anawahurumia wale wengine anakuwa na moyo safi Roho yake haijajaa mambo ambayo yanaleta doa. Yanachafua roho yake. La, 
huyu mtu ametafuta yaliyo kamilifu na yawadilifu na basi ni mtu mwenye moyo safi huyu mtu sio mtu wa kuleta mafarakano ni mtu wa kuleta mapatanisho kwa wengi hata mahala ambapo wanaona kuna mgawanyiko huyu mtu husimama ili aweze kuunganisha wote nia yake ni kuleta mapatano kwa wote heri basi huyo mtu heri hao wapatanishi mwisho anasema kwamba ni tena ni vyema kwa wale ambao wanadhulumiwa kwa ajili ya haki hata wale ambao wanadhulumiwa kwa sababu wamechagua yaliyo mema na yaliyo adilifu yale ambayo yamelingana na mapenzi yake Mwenyezi Mungu heri huyo mtu ni kwa sababu ametambua kama vile masubufu na mateso yake Yesu Kristu yameweza kuzaa na kuleta matuna ambayo yameleta neema kwa wanadamu wakaweza kuishi maisha ya kimungu wakaweza kuhuishwa katika nyoo zao hata wakiwa wanadamu wakawa na mapatanisho na umungu basi vile vile tumetambua kwamba mateso masubufu ambayo tunayapitia madhurumu ambayo tunayapitia kwa haki ama kwa sababu sisi ni waadilifu ama tumefuata jia ya uadilifu hayo kwa kweli yana mazao na ndio tunasema kwamba kwa hayo masubufu kwa hayo mateso yaunganishe na mateso yake Kristo kwenye msalaba ili yaweze kuwa ni ya wokovu wako na vile vile kwa wokovu wa ulimwengu wote na ndipo tuwapaswa kuyatoa yale ambayo tunayapitia magumu kwa jia ya haki yakaweza kuwa ni kwa wokovu wetu na kwa wokovu wa ulimwengu wote. Basi tumuombe Mwenyezi Mungu asubuhi ya leo tukiwakumbuka wale ambao wametutangulia kwa neema zake Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kuwapa pumziko la amani. Kuna wale ambao waliotoka na pengine walikuwa na doa. Na Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ni mwingi wa rehema ni mwingi wa huruma Yo tunaomba kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kuwapa pumziko la amani wakaweza kushirikishwa katika kanisa la ushidi kanisa takatifu hasa kwa wale ambao wamefikia uzima wa milele nasi vile vile tujikumbuke tukumbuke kwamba sisi wote ni wasafiri na basi tuombe neema zake Mwenyezi Mungu na kwa sababu ametuelezea kwamba anatembea nasi tumeiba vizuri sana katika wibo wa katikati na huo wibo Zaburi 23 tuwafahamu vizuri sana Mwenyezi Mungu anatembea nasi hata tupitie wapi yuko pamoja nasi huyo ndiye anatusaidia hata tukiwa katika ulimwengu huu na sisi tuwalikwa tu kuungana naye tukiungana naye kwa kweli maisha yetu yatakuwa ya uadilifu na kama vile tunasema the grace of god suffices it is enough the grace of god is enough for me ivone i open my heart ivone i dispose myself ivone i cooperate with it truly i'll be able to live a holy life in this world and be partaker in eternal life tumsifu yesu kristo Him number 408 on page 221 Wonjeni mone kwa baba na yumema na heri yule mtu anayem to my ni Yesu Kristu pokea moyo wangu e Mungu wangu Niweze kukupenda kwa pendo lako unipe moyo wako ewe Yesu mkombozi wangu shinda kwangu na midaima kwako katika nguvu za giza katutoa na kutukari bisha katika ufalme wa pendo lako pokea moyo wangu e Mungu wangu niweze kukupenda kwa pendo lako unipe moyo wako ewe Yesu mkombozi shinda kwangu na midaima kwako
salini dogo ni sadaka yangu na yenu kubalike kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Sifa E bwana uwe radhi kuvipokea vipaji vyetu ili watumishi wako marehemu wapokelewe katika utukufu pamoja na mwanao ambaye kwa ajili sakramenti yake kuu ya upendo wote tunaunganishwa naye anaishi na kutawala daima na milele <coughs> bwana awe nanyi nawe inweni mioyo kwa bwana tumshukuru bwana mungu wetu ni vyema na haki kweli ni vyema na haki tendo la kufana na kuleta wokovu tukushukuru wewe daima na popote e bwana baba uliye mtakatifu mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa amri yako twazaliwa kwa matakwa yako twaongozwa na kwa agizo lako tunakobolewa na sheria ya dhambi Inayo turudisha katika udogo ambamo tulichukuliwa kwanza nasi tulipokobolewa kwa ajili ya kifo cha mwanao kwa ishara yako tunaamshwa kwenye utukufu wa ufufuko wake kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na umati wa malaika na watakatifu tunakuimbia utenzi wa sifa tukisema bila mwisho takatifu mtakatifu mtakatifu bwana mungu wa majeshi miku na dunia zimejaa utukufu wako sana tabiri bigoni balikiwa naye kuja kwa jina la mungu sana juu bigoni e bwana kweli mtakatifu na chemichemi ya utakatifu wote Tunakuomba vitakatifuze vipaji hivi kwa nguvu ya roho wako ili viwe kwetu mwili na damu ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Yeye alipotolewa na kuingia kwa hiari katika mateso yake alitoa mkate, akushukuru, akaumega, akawapo wafuasi wake akisema, "Twaeni mle nyote, huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu." Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kushukuru tena aliwapa wafuasi wake akisema Twaeni mnywe nyote hiki dicho kikobe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukubusho wangu fumbo la imani. E bwana kila tunapokula mkate huu na kukunywea kikobe hiki tunatangaza kifo chako mpaka utakapokuja. Kwa hiyo e bwana tunapoadhimisha ukubusho wa kifo na ufufuko wake mwanao tunakutolea mkate wa uzima na kikobe cha wokovu. Tunakushukuru kwa kuwa tumestahilishwa kusimama mbele yako na kutumikia. Pia tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu ili kwa kushiriki mwili na damu ya Kristu tukusanywe na roho mtakatifu tupate kuwa jamaa moja. E bwana ulikumbwa kanisa lako linapotea duniani ulikamilishe katika mapendo pamoja na watu wa Francisco na Scopar Fit Panyoro sedwa kadiri kama au na wakero wote. Wakumbuke watumishi wako marehemu ulioita kwako kutoka dunia hii wajalie ili walioshirikishwa kifo cha mwanao kwa batizo washiriki pia ufuko wake wakumbuke pia ndugu zetu wa dunia wakiwa tumeni la ufuko na marehemu wote wa dunia katika huruma yako wapokee kwa nuru ya uso wako tunakuomba turumesi zote ili pamoja na marabiki na mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mwako bikira mtume mwenye heri mtakatifu wote walio kumenda ukare kuzima mlena kusema nakutukuza kwa njia ya mwanao Yesu Kristo.
kwa jia yake na pamoja naye na dani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote milele na milele Wakulitia gizo la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu liye biguni lako litukuzwe mama wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama biguni utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku tusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi walio tukosea tutie katika kishawishi lakini utuopoe maovuni e bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote Utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na thami wana tufundishwe na jabu lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujiwa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo E bwana Yesu Kristo aliyewaambia mitume wako amani na waachieni amani yangu na wapa usizitazame dhabi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako Upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako. Unaishi na kutawala milele na milele. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Mwana kodoo wa Mungu. Tazama mwana kodoo wa Mungu, tazama aodowae dhabi za ulimwengu, heri yao walioalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kodoo. E bwana, sisaidie kwangu, lakini sema neno tu, na roho yangu itapona. Mwili na damu ya Kristo zitulinde tupate uzima wa milele.
Ali Kuja Kutu Okoa Tuli Okoa Zambini Kwa Kifo Chake Salabani Naye Katupa Yesu Wangu Nakuomba Sala, baada ya komunyo, roho ya Kristo initakaze. Mwili wa Kristo uniokoe. Damu ya Kristo initanamshe. Maji ya ubavu ya Kristo yanioshe. Mateso ya Kristo nguvu yanizidishi. E Yesu mema unisikilize. Katika madonda yako unifiche. Usikubali nitengane nawe na adui mwangu ni kinge. Saya kufa kwangu unite. Uniamuru kwa konije. Matakatifu wako nukutukuze milele na milele. Amina. Tuombe. E Bwana, tumeadhimisha sakramenti ya Pasaka kwa ajili ya watumishi wako marehemu. Tunakuomba uwajalie waingie katika makao ya mwanga na amani. Kwa jia Kristu Bwana wetu. Bwana awe nanyi. Na misheni hivyo genu kwa balaka. Mungu wa faraja yote wa bariki. Yeye ambaye kwa wema wake usio na kifani aliwauba binadamu na ufufuko wa mwanae wa pekee. Amewapa waamini tumaini la kufufuka. Na sisi tulio hai Mungu atijalie msamaha wa dhabi na marehemu wote awajalie mahali pa mwanga na amani Sisi sote tunaosadiki kwamba Kristo alifufuka kweli katika wafu 
Tujaliwe kuishi kwa furaha pamoja naye bila mwisho. Amen. Na baraka yake Mungu Mwenyezi, Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu iwashukie na kukaa nanyi daima. ya misa imekwisha tumshukuru Mungu Exit him him number 342 on page 200 Near my God to thee near to Pidan al Señor para que me bendiga. La oración de ustedes me da fuerzas y me ayuda para que pueda discernir y acompañar a la Iglesia escuchando al Espíritu Santo. Por el hecho de ser Papa, uno no pierde su humanidad. Al contrario, mi humanidad cada día crece más con el santo pueblo fiel de Dios. Porque ser Papa también es un proceso. Uno va tomando conciencia de lo que significa ser pastor. Y en este proceso aprende a ser más caritativo, más misericordioso y sobre todo más paciente, como es nuestro Padre Dios, que es tan paciente. Puedo imaginar que todos los papas al empezar su pontificado tuvieron esa sensación de susto, vértigo del que sabe que va a ser juzgado con dureza porque el Señor a los obispos nos va a pedir cuenta seriamente por favor, les pido que juzguen con benevolencia y que recen para que el papa, sea quien sea, hoy me toca a mí reciba la ayuda del Espíritu Santo sea dócil a esa ayuda Oremos por el Papa para que en el ejercicio de su misión siga acompañando en la fe a la Grey que le ha sido encomendada por Jesús y siempre con la ayuda del Espíritu Santo. Hacemos en silencio esta preghiera de voi su dime. Y recen por mí, a favor. Best wishes to Abigail. May the Lord shower his blessings and favor upon you as you sit for your exams.
Capuchin TV wishes you all the best. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Matthew 5, verse 37 to 38. On Saturday, the 4th of November, 2023, the Catholic Diocese of Bungoma will receive six new laborers into the vineyard of the Lord during the priestly ordination which will take place in Misiho Parish. The deacons to be ordained to priesthood are Deacon Sylvester Olengo from Butula Parish, Deacon Aquilinus Oundo from Bohuni Parish, Deacon Stephen Wafula from Misiho Parish, Deacon Matthias Simiu from Misiho Parish, Deacon Matthias Mubuya from Chebukaka Parish and Deacon Douglas Tabu Chembembe from Buhunyi Parish. The Holy Mass will start at 9 a.m. presided by Right Reverend Mark Kadima, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Bungoma. And on 5th of November, Bishop Kadima will be the main celebrant in the Thanksgiving Mass of Reverend Stephen Wafula and Reverend Matthias Simiu. The Holy Mass starts at 9 a.m. at Misihu Parish. These celebrations will be live here on Capuchin TV and our corresponding social media platforms. <laughs> Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Best wishes to Eugene Kinoti Kavala. We thank the Lord for this far he has brought you. May the blessing and favor of God be with you as you sit for your exams. Capuchin TV wishes you all the best. Prayer for all candidates. O God, our loving Father, we acknowledge your Lordship over everything as we bring to you all the candidates sitting for their final exams throughout. Just as Jesus died and has risen again, so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. And as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be brought to life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the commemoration of all the faithful departed. And indeed, the entire month is dedicated for this purpose, that we pray for the souls of our faithful departed, because we continue being in communion with them. And therefore, as we start this Mass, I request all of us we take a moment and we remember those our parents, our siblings, our brothers and sisters, our friends, our colleagues who have gone before us and ask God's mercy to be upon them.
And now let us take this moment also to confess our sins. As we say, I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I fear to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We also include the intentions of Lydia Munyoki and Emmanuel Munisia as they thank the Lord. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Oh, that my words were written. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and lead they were graven in the rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives. And at last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, then from my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see on my side. And my eyes shall behold and not another. The word of the Lord. The response is the psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Nearest waters he leads me, he revives my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path, for the sake of his name. Though I should walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. Your crook and your staff will give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a table before me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for length of days and ending. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, hope does not disappoint us because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. While we were yet helpless, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Why? One will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for a good man one will dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we are now justified by his blood, much more shall be saved by him from the wrath of God. 
For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall, be, shall we be saved by his life. Not only so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received our reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see gold. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Holy Gospel of the Lord. Uh, brothers and sisters, the Catechism of the Catholic Church number 954 remind us that the church, the visible church on earth, is only a part of a, a larger picture or a larger reality. And therefore, the church is always perceived in three stages. The first stage is what we call the militant church or the pilgrim church. And this is where we belong when we are reminded we are all sojourners, we are all pilgrim walking towards the heavenly Jerusalem. And the second stage is what we call the penitent church, the suffering church, or the expectant church. And this is what we remember with the feast of today. It is called the expectant church because the souls that we pray for are full of that expectation that they will be purgated and be able at the end of the day to enjoy the beatific vision. And the third stage of the church is what we celebrated yesterday, the triumphant church. At the end of the day, when we profess the faith every Sunday or during any solemnity, we talk about the communion of the saints. The communion of the saints does not only refer to the triumphant church that we celebrated yesterday, that take into consideration the pilgrim church, the suffering church, 
and also now the triumphant church. Today is also a day, and we remember our faithful departed, including the holy souls in purgatory. And we refer to these souls as holy souls because they are full of hope. And we have heard in the second reading what hope does. One thing it does, Paul says, it does not disappoint. And this was the hope that Job, the servant of God, was with or attested to. At that point of his suffering, when the only thing that he thought is facing him was death, full of hope, he said, after all, after all this suffering, after all that is happening in my life, I am sure of one thing, that my Redeemer lives. And with that hope, he was ready to encounter the Lord. So today, my dear brothers and sisters, we give expression to that hope which we all profess in the creed, the communion of the saints. We are remembering those whom we loved, those whom we walked with, worked with, those whom are part and parcel of who we are. And why do we remember them? Because we know as Christians, death may be indeed be our last enemy, but as mighty as it may appear a disowed and dreadful as it may seem to most of us, after that sleep which we call death, there is that hope of great awakening. When those who have died in Christ we live with him forever. And we pray for this church every time we come here for Mass. In the Eucharistic prayer that is well elaborated, we pray for the resurrection of those who have died also in the hope of the same resurrection, who have died in Christ. And to some extent, we always include, the priest will say, whose faith is only God knows about it. So those whom we loved, and according to the book of wisdom, the souls of the righteous are in the hands of the Lord. And there is nothing that is going to touch them. And in the hands of the Lord, there is no tormentation. There is no more pain. There is no more sickness. There is no more suffering. They are in the right place. But then, because we are not sure of that, none of us who are alive have tested death. That's why we are reminded by the Mother Church. One of the spiritual work of mercy is to pray for the dead. I reminded you the other day that our human souls are a Vietano, meaning that they were created at that time, but souls will never have an end, just like angels. They are a Vietano, created. They are not eternal. God is the only one who is eternal. For human souls, for angels, we talk of them as Evetano, a Vietano, meaning they had a beginning but will not have an end. And therefore, human soul continues to know. We are in communion with them. We cannot forget about our dear mothers, our dear fathers, our dear parents, the dear and the near ones, the colleagues, the friends, those people who impacted on our lives. But they are not with us now. The only gift we can give to them is to pray for them. Because we are not sure, because I have said none of us who are here have tested death to know whether death is bitter, death is sweet. We can only give hypotheses on those that he or she died a good death 
he or she died a painful death. But none of us have tested that. Death for us remains a mystery. But we are people full of hope. And why are we hopeful? Because Christ, our model, Christ, our Redeemer, tasted the same. And Paul will remind us, if Christ never died and rose again, then all our beliefs and faith is in vain and could have become a project in futility. But now because he's the model, he tasted death, he became victorious, he became a victor, then we are told this is our own portion, is the portion for our brothers and sisters who we celebrate and who we remember in this particular feast. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, chapter 14, says, Whether we are alive or dead, we belong to Christ. We are Lord. We don't belong to ourselves. We belong to Christ. Those our brothers and sisters whom we remember, whom we commemorate, they belong to Christ just like ourselves. We are convinced we belong to Christ. And we cannot forget about them who have gone, those who have gone before us. Because when death comes and they are taken to the grave, they carry part of us because there is something we shared. And part of them is left with us. And now where they are, especially the souls in purgatory, they cannot pray for themselves. Today is a feast that reminds us that we are Christian. We are taxed to do that spiritual work of mercy to pray for them, to dedicate masses for them, to do charity on their behalf, to visit even the graves where we buried them. As I worked as a pastor in one of the parishes, one of the painful things that you could encounter is when you could go for home blessings. And part of those home blessings, they could include blessing of the, of the graves. But you could find some in very pathetic situation. Even some, it's as if they never existed. They could not even locate them. They could tell you, Father, we think it is here. Because the moment they buried them, they could not walk around that grave, plant flowers and so on. They are gone, and some of them were our parents, and they could not be remembered. Today we also reminded, if you have the opportunity to visit where we laid them to rest, it's a part of what is expected of us. Pray for them. Do charity on their behalf with intention in mind for their souls. And above all, as we remember the legacy that they left, I think this feast also touch on us and call all of us to remember about our own death. If we do not pray for them, when you die, who will pray for you? There is one philosopher called Martin Heidegger. And Martin Heidegger was describing about the saying, the saying means a human being, a who a human person is. And he said, a design or a human person is a zain zum tode, a being to us death. That me and you, he reminded us that I am a being that is walking towards death. Each and every day I make a journey. There is one ultimate journey. And sure journey that I am making. I may go to places. I may visit many places. But Martin Heidegger would say there is that ultimate journey I'm making. Knowingly or unknowingly, I'm walking towards my own death. And therefore, he said, we cannot define a human person. We cannot define ourselves without death. Just like every time, especially when we go to lay them, to rest our brothers and sisters, the is led, on this day he was born. I listened to them, 
because I have participated in many of these funerals, and one of the things that they conclude, and on this day, he died. So death, even if is a mystery, also is part of what defines us. And perhaps that's why St. Francis of Assisi will far death as a brother death. And he was not afraid of it. It's not something to be feared. But sometimes because we have been given a chance, I know the idea may sound morbid to some of us because we fear death, but it's part and parcel of who we are. We call it death. And I say it's mysterious because when we were born, two gifts were put in us. On one pocket, the gift of life, that is already opened. But on the other side, there is death that we carry with us, and I put it as a gift. If we are beings to us death, perhaps also our brothers and sisters who have gone before us remind us of that reality that we do not belong to ourselves, we belong to God, whether we are alive or dead, think about it and ask yourself, when my times come, what legacy will I have left behind? So he said to think about those who have gone before us, which will do the entire of this month, but what about us? So that also we can live a holy life. We can live a good life. We can be able to live a legacy. Why we are remembering them? Because they left a legacy. And what we learned from them, something that is good, be it from our parents, our brothers, our colleagues, we should not let it die from us. Therefore, we continue to pray for them. With that hope which Paul has reminded us, that hope does not disappoint. He says it attracts us and give meaning to life. Sometimes we do not see beyond death, but the gift of hope is a gift of God. It draws us to life, towards the beatific vision, towards the joy of eternal life. That is where our hope is anchored. And as Christians, we must cling to that hope that one day, because death is not the end, those our beloved whom we had communion at one time, we will continue communing with them. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hymn number three one three one. All to Jesus I surrender, all to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, favorably on our offerings, O Lord, 
so that our departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, who lives and lives forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, light and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so, in company with choirs of angels, we praise you. With joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like dear form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was added, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Philip, our Bishop, David, his assistant, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of our Lord Jesus be with you all.
Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are invited to the banquet of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Hymn number three, four, two. Three, four, two. Nearer, my God, to thee, nearer to me. Oh, 
of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, liberate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from thee. From the weekend, for defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come unto thee, that with the angels and saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will not die forever. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord that our departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place in the light and of light and peace, through Christ our Lord. So before the final blessings, we continue to remind you, just like I said, let us continue to pray for our departed, for the souls of our departed brothers and sisters, Request mass for them, do charity on their behalf. Above all, pray for them, create time and pray for the souls of departed brothers and sisters. And in our church, we have the list for purgatorio list. You can include those intentions and insert in this box. The, the priest will have time to pray for them. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May God of all consolation, consolation bless you. For in his unfathomable goodness he created the human race. And in the resurrection of his only begotten son, he has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins. And to all the dead, a praise of light and peace. So may we live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Go in peace of Christ, our Mass is added. Thanks be to God. Our exit hymn is 567, 567. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what listless pain we bear. All oh, because we do not carry everything
sing to God in prayer. Of we trials and temptation, is there trouble anywhere? We shall never be discouraged. Take to the Lord in prayer. Can we find our friends so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every way. to the Lord in Pidan al Señor para que me bendiga. La oración de ustedes me da fuerzas y me ayuda para que pueda discernir y acompañar a la Iglesia escuchando al Espíritu Santo. Por el hecho de ser Papa, uno no pierde su humanidad. Al contrario, mi humanidad cada día crece más con el santo pueblo fiel de Dios. Porque ser Papa también es un proceso. Uno va tomando conciencia de lo que significa ser pastor. Y en este proceso aprende a ser más caritativo, más misericordioso y sobre todo más paciente, como es nuestro Padre Dios, que es tan paciente. Puedo imaginar que todos los papas al empezar su pontificado tuvieron esa sensación de susto, vértigo, del que sabe que va a ser juzgado con dureza. El Señor a los obispos nos va a pedir cuenta seriamente. Por favor, les pido que juzguen con benevolencia y que recen para que el papa, sea quien sea, hoy me toca a mí, reciba la ayuda del Espíritu Santo, sea dócil a esa ayuda. Oremos por el Papa para que en el ejercicio de su misión siga acompañando en la fe a la Grey que le ha sido encomendada por Jesús y siempre con la ayuda del Espíritu Santo. Hacemos en silencio esta preguiera de voy, su dime. Y recen por mí, a favor. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 The entire congregation of the little work of divine providence. Together we celebrate the continuous growth of laborers in God's vineyard. Deacon Samuel Mudoka Mutur, Deacon Martin Junge Kamau, and Deacon Austin Namusende Muteshi. In my shayet, why Jacob writes the video, Rakimi, Nikwanea Mayamugo. Na, Ukikubuka, when you're to be one now, eh, 
you can also imagine ama unaweza ukasema nini hata wewe nimekuwa ni safari ambayo ni ya muda mrefu na hii ni siku ambayo tulikuwa tumeingojea sana lakini tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu aje tuacha It is indeed by the bountiful grace of God that these three devoted brothers have triumphed over adversities to meet the sacred demands of the Catholic diaconate ordination. Wa Kristo taifa la Mungu tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Kwa majina ni Bruda Martin Junge Kamau kutoka parokia ya mtakatifu Teresa wa mtoto Yesu. Jibo ku la Nairobi. Mwite mwenye bosi kusherekea na mwenye alala. Kwa Kristo wapenzi taifa la Mungu tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Mimi ni Bruda Samuel Mudoka Mutoa kutoka shirika la mapadri wa Donor Hione Fathers na nimetokea katika jimbo Katoliki la Machakos parokia ya watakatifu Petro na Paulo Mavoloni. Tunawaalikeni katika sherehe yetu ya kupata daraja ya ushemasi katika parokia ya Roho Mtakatifu Kandisi kule katika jimbo Katoliki Langong tarehe tatu Ijumaa mwezi wa kumi na moja. Saa nne ikiongozwa naye Mwashamu Yohana Obala Oa askofu wa jimbo Langong. Mbaito Mwiaseo nito kumudho cha ndhini wa chadhini kitu cha kutika Deacons tani ya Mungu bwana. Mm. Sikero Mungu. Sawa, nafsa sana. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Asante sana. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Asante sana Asante. dogu bwana. We thank God. Capuchin TV extends warm heartfelt congratulations to these soon to be deacons. Best wishes to Abigail. May the Lord shower his blessings and favor upon you as you sit for your exams. Capuchin TV wishes you all the best. The harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Matthew 5 verse 37 to 38. On Saturday, the 4th of November 2023, the Catholic Diocese of Bungoma will receive six new laborers into the vineyard of the Lord during the priestly ordination which will take place in Misiehu Parish. The deacons to be ordained to priesthood are Deacon Sylvester Olengo from Butula Parish, Deacon Aquilinus Oundo from Buhunyi Parish, Deacon Stephen Wafula from Misiho Parish, Deacon Matthias Simiyu from Misiho Parish, Deacon Matthias Mubuya from Chebukaka Parish, and Deacon Douglas Tabuche Mbembe from Buhunyi Parish. The Holy Mass will start at 9 a.m. presided by Right Reverend Mark Kadima, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Bungoma, and on 5th of November, Bishop Kadima will be the main celebrant in the Thanksgiving Mass of Reverend Stephen Wafula and Reverend Matthias Simiu. The Holy Mass starts at 9 a.m. at Misihu Parish. These celebrations will be live here on Capuchin TV and our corresponding social media platforms. <laughs> Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Best wishes to Eugene Kinoti Kavala. 
We thank the Lord for this far he has brought you. May the blessing and favor of God be with you as you sit for your exams. Capuchin TV wishes you all the best. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Nostrils the breath of life. God created man.